Dayton Young Black Professionals Organization continues talking about change. But this time, they're not planning a rally. They are planning a cleanup. News Center 7's Rennell Hunt explains how they think this will help spread a message of unity. By just walking the very streets that they grew up in and cleaning up garbage left on the side of the roads just like this, the Dayton Young Black Professionals say they hope their efforts make a difference as they promote change for a better future. In the video posted on the Dayton Young Black Professionals Facebook, volunteers express the importance of leading by example in their town. If we say that black lives matter, it starts here in the black community. Fletcher McKinney lives in Dayton. He told me he witnessed firsthand the hard work of those who were involved the last time they were out. You don't see that many young kids get together and really want to get out and work. And they, they really got gritty with it. They got in there and they dug in and they pulled tires and mattresses. And I mean, they did a great job. Some who live on the west side of Dayton say there has been problems with trash and garbage collecting in alleys and even along some main streets. Yazil Palmer said she used to live in the area but now lives in Beaver Creek. She says she has seen other areas with the same problem but feels it's a growing problem in the black community. When you go to, you know, uh the urban like environment versus when you go to wider areas that you can see the difference as far as like the time and money that's put into like the communities. With the help of organizations like DYBP and other volunteer groups, folks who live in West Dayton say they feel it steps in the right direction and seeing younger adults helping spoke volumes. It's a different generation of children and when you see the positiveness come out of them, it make you feel good. The I Love West Dayton Cleanup Initiative will host another cleanup event this coming Saturday. The Dayton Young Black Professionals say they're still asking for more volunteers to help out. We'll have more information on how you can sign up on our website at whio.com. In Dayton, Ron Hunt, News Center 7.